Fremont, California, an affluent suburb located just outside of San Francisco, and home to Spin a Yarn, a landmark restaurant that was taken over by a Greek immigrant, Saki Cavanieris. I took over in 1995, was kind of dying at the time, and gradually I brought it back to life. Hello. With Spin a Yarn booming, it seemed as if nothing could come between Saki and his dream. That is until a new addition came into the restaurant. I took the bartender job at Spin a Yarn because I was desperate. Don't drop it, whatever you do. He asked me if I had an experience, and I said yes. <gasps> but I lied. <laughs> if you would have told me I would have been married to him with a baby two years later, I would have ran for the hills. This to my wife with a straw. Bring it over your head. <laughs> Jen's just a mess when she tries to help out in the restaurant. Here you go, sweetie. Thank you so much. She doesn't know what she's doing. But she is Saki's trophy wife. I'm not as stupid as everyone thinks. And the caviar mousse, what is in that? Caviar? <laughs> I'm not book smart, I'm street smart. <laughs> when business started to slow down, Jennifer convinced Saki that a remodel might help bring the people back. I was given no budget. They don't put price tags on things. I was just told to go pick out what you like, and now I'm realizing I have expensive tastes. I was planning on spending 350000 at the most. Jennifer wound up spending almost $950,000. And after I remodeled this place, everything just went down. Yeah. That looks disgusting. The pasta is overcooked. The food isn't consistently good. It's not fresh. Have a good night. Things just kind of went like this. It is dead. It's empty. I'm stressed out, man. My dream of owning a restaurant. It's been really, really hard. You set the motherfucker on fire. Did you pay the insurance? Yeah, it's been hard on my restaurant. What are you getting me some few stuff for? Find your fucking getting you, dude. My parents will go days without talking. It's always a fight. It irritates me that I put my heart on my sleeve and... Uh, that's it, I have no energy anymore to fight with you, you know that? <sighs> my parents are on the verge of divorce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the main reason is because of this restaurant. I don't know how we're going to bounce back from this. I feel like things are out of control. And I feel like we need help. After receiving an emotional letter from the owners, Chef Ramsay has decided to meet Jennifer at her home. Hi, Jen. Hi. Come on in. Before heading over to the restaurant. Wow, who's that? Uh, that's me and Saki, Saki and I. What a gorgeous picture. Thank you. How long ago was that? Five years. Really? Mm -hmm. My goodness me. Good. Right, how are you? Uh, I'm nervous. You're nervous? Why are you nervous? Um, because when I asked you over, I didn't think he'd actually come. I can't believe why Oprah's sitting in my living room. Um, how did all this start? It started because I was bartending at the right. restaurant. Is that how you mm -hmm. first met? That's how we met. Saki. Okay, great. Actually, I lied to get the job. How did you manage that? He just asked if I had experience. I said yes, but he realized when I poured my first beer out of the tap that I didn't know what I was doing because it was foaming everywhere. And it was just... So he was the owner. You were obviously shaking his uh, cocktails. Yeah. Clearly, he had a soft spot instantly. He did. Did you have a soft spot for him? No. No, why? He's not someone I would typically go for or at physical appearances. The age difference between both of you is what? 16 years. People think I'm a trophy wife or I'm gold digging. It was never like that. I mean, he wooed me for eight months. We went everywhere. We went to Hawaii. We went to shows. We went to concerts. And then I realized I loved him. They say a beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It really is true. And he's my beast. Um, fast forward. Your relationship with Saki now, how's that changed? It's not doing good. So just help me understand that. It's very strange because we remodeled, we took a risk, and the remodel was, you know, a million bucks. Damn. How can you amass such a large amount? Did you know the budget? In terms I of didn't have a budget. He told me to go pick out what I like. Five. That's like sending a lady into a designer shoe store with no yeah. price tags on the shoes. So 
it wasn't until after I found out that the bar was $40,000. Wow. And the little glitter tiles in the women's bathroom, I picked those out, but I didn't know they were 100 bucks each. So we can't all blame him. That's where I beat myself up and I get mad at myself because we don't own that building, we don't own that property. Saki has a 10-year lease. We've got 10 years to make it or break it. Wow. It sounds like the restaurant's under immense pressure. How do you guys talk to each other now? We don't really. That's what's the hardest part. Like, now I don't get to work with them every day side by side. So I'm trying to find my place in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. What condition is he in? I mean... The restaurant just really stresses him out because he wants to work more because he's trying to pull us out of this hole. <laughs> he is almost, like, ignoring the most important thing in his life, the family. Yeah. I'm grateful for the insights, let me tell you. Thank you. Thank you. OK. I feel like my marriage is at a breaking point. And that scares me. Wow. Look at that sign. What is that? A big capital S. Let's hope that doesn't stand for shit. Wow. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm Robin. How are you? Good, thank you. Good Erica. to see you. Nice Erica. to meet you. Hostess. Yep. Am I this way? How are you? Good to see you, bud. You like a little fat penguin? I know, man. Huh? I am. I God am. bless you. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! You look more like funeral undertakers than you do waiters. Everybody hates the work bow tie and, and tuxedo shirts. Right hand up. You look like a penguin. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, March. onto that coffin. No, you don't That's... bounce up and down. There you go. Together, together. You'll drop the body. Together, together. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Let's go. Can you show me to the table, please? Okay, I'll show Thank you your table. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Thank you, Jens. Right. I'll be your chair right here. Is Saki in? I'd love to meet him. Okay. Please, thank you. The restaurant's like old style. Can you come out here, please? Saki does need someone to push him because Saki is really old school. Hey, Chef. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Very well, thank you. I met your lovely wife, so... Oh, nice wonderful, to... yeah. Now I understand that you went through a major renovation. Maybe you can show me around. Let's go out this way. I remodeled this place at the wrong time. And before I knew it, it was a big price tag. It was in that... it was too late to stop. Oh, really? oh dear. So these are restaurants. Oh, wow. Bloody yeah. hell. Yes. Honestly. A little stool in here as well. This is very plush. Chandelier. And then these little tiles here is $50 each. $50 each. Yeah. So you get those stunning tiles and you put these shitty butterflies on there. Yes, yeah, my wife's favorite, favorite uh, butterflies. Favorite butterflies yeah. So is she a designer? No, but she likes the good things. I let her do whatever she wanted to do it. She blames me for it. Wow. But that's how the husband and wife is, right? The husband takes the blame, whatever the wife does. Wow. The major stuff was probably right here. A uh, new fireplace. Wow, look at that marble on the bar. That's plush. Man, it's quite expensive. Yeah. Wow. So tell me about the budget. Sit down. So... Originally, it was supposed to be like $350,000. Right. You go from 350 yeah. grand to, to 950. Yeah. 600 grand over. It doesn't make yeah, sense. We got way out of hand. And the identity of the restaurant, what are we? It's seafood pasta. <laughs> seafood yeah. pasta. Continental Se cuisine. Continental cuisine. Continental cuisine. With seafood pasta. Well, uh, pasta and seafood, then. yeah. So it's a continental seafood Seafood restaurant. steakhouse. Seafood steakhouse? Yeah. Seafood steakhouse, pasta, continental restaurant. Oh, yeah. Right, let me uh, eat. I'm the one that makes the decision what goes on the menu. Victor is the chef and I'm the boss. Are you scared, Saki? Huh? I'm scared. What You're am scared, I huh? Don't worry about it. It's relaxed. You are sweating. Look at your shirt. I know I'm sweating. Why should I be sweating? That's embarrassing. I'll change your worry. shirt. Hi, Hi Gordon. You. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm OK, thank you. Your first name is? My name is Mary. Mary, in your mind, what's wrong with the restaurants? Um, I believe the food's outdated. Oh. Chef Ramsay's going to go, ugh. <laughs> um, what do you recommend? The lamb shank is very good. Well, from what I hear, I haven't had it myself. The baked patchouli with crab and base shrimp is very good for the seafood side as well, from what I hear. But what is it, a Greek restaurant, an Italian restaurant? Well, they've always had Greek owners, so right. they kind of throw their Greek twist into it. Wow. 
Um, right, let's start off. Um, I'll have a wonderful Greek sound player. Mm -hmm. um, Crab Louis, please. And let's go for the filet mignon. Thank you. See you guys, the day at the judgment, Saki. You want to share the dinner? Huh. You ready, honey? Yes, please. What's your order first? Greek sampler. We used to do everything from scratch. And now they're full of sack over here. Saki, tie my hands the way things are supposed to be done. Chef Ramsey is going to see the truth. Here we go. Thank you. Wow. You're welcome. This is the Greek sampler. Look at that. That is ghastly. Has that got mashed potatoes in there? It is canned salmon caviar mixed with some mashed <coughs> potatoes. Canned? Canned. They mix it with the mashed potatoes? Mm hmm So canned, canned. Canned. A Greek tragedy. Shit. It's like a canned sampler. Whereabouts in Greece are you from? I don't know, but I'll find out for you. If he served that in the Greek Isles, they'd throw him overboard. <laughs> Thank you, darling. You're welcome. He said, if you served it in the Greek islands, they'd throw you overboard. And, and Saki, where are you from in Greece? I'm from, uh, uh, from, uh, Kalamata. Kalamata? Kalamata, yeah. Okay. And where's this crab, Louie? Yeah, He's coming, yeah. yeah. Saki is from Kalamata. Okay. So what, this is the... This is the crab, Louie. Wow. Mm, yeah. It doesn't smell that fresh. No, it doesn't. It, no. It's also um, canned. Oh, shit. Disgusting. Crab Louie was invented in this city. You think anyone serving it within a 50 mile radius would pay respect with fresh crab? Yes. How much is that on the menu for? $17.95. And that's the same with fresh or canned? Mm hmm. Wow. Okay, then. Thank you. Wow. Canned crab? Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Is the next dish ready? What do you think of that one? So... The crab? The crab smells like fish. Like it shouldn't if it's fresh. It comes from the fish sea, tell them. Fresh frozen. Fresh frozen out of the can. How are you? Hey, how, how are, are you? you? It's kind of tough, you know? It's hot back here. Huh? It's hot back here. Good. Ah, filet mignon. Wow. Damn. No, look at it. Looks like a mud slide. <sighs> Rubbery. <coughs> that teriyaki sauce is ghastly. It's like cough medicine. That's their way of teriyaki sauce. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. O-M-G. Oh, the food's gross. Said your teriyaki sucks. Everybody loves a teriyaki sauce. OK, but if he says that the food doesn't taste good, you can't no. have an excuse for it. It's not an excuse. It's a fact. We need Chef Ramsay to snap something in my stepdad to wake up, because right now, we are at rock bottom. Don't, don't comment about the food, dude. Don't comment about the food. I'm allowed to. Don't give me no advice. Just go inside, Daniel. I got enough Talk critics. Talk facts. I got enough critics. Just go inside. Why go change so crabby. There's a lot of stuff going wrong. Don't get mad at us when we're trying to help you. You guys go inside the dining room before you get pissed I'm off. I'm going to the bottom of the totem pole. It's going to be OK. Just go inside. Go follow your mom, will you? Don't get mad at me. Oh, no problem. Just follow your mom. Go follow your mom. No, 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 no. This is my restaurant just as much as it is yours. He is freaking out. After being thoroughly disappointed with less than fresh food at Spinny Yarn. Canned, canned. Canned. Damn. Chef Ramsay heads to the kitchen to have a little chat with the people responsible. Hi. Hello. Kayla, okay. I'm their daughter. Okay, nice to see you. Hi. <laughs> Are you uh, you working here? Yeah, tonight. Okay, great. Tonight. Yes. I'll look forward to catching up with you later. Okay. Um, <laughs> kitchen that way? Yes. Thank you. Hey, Chef. Can you um, introduce me to the team, please? Can all of you guys come over here, please? Uh, so, Chef Victor. Chef Victor. Nice meeting you. Uh, so, you're the head chef? Yes. Okay, how long have you been the head chef? About eight years. Okay. First off, 
I'm shocked. My lunch was horrific. The first thing that arrived was the, the sample platter. Why do you get salmon caviar, mix it with cold mashed potatoes and serve it? Because that was the original recipe we have from, from here. That's the old recipe? Yeah. OK. Move on. Crab Louis salad. Why are you serving canned crab? The fresh crab is how to get the fresh crab. Oh, come on. We're in San Francisco. We're in the Bay. The filet mignon. The sauce was ghastly. It was just, it was worse than cough medicine. Like I say, you just follow the recipe was here already. Oh, come on. You're the chef. Hey, what do you want me to do? Hey? Why don't you stand up for yourself? He can answer you. Are you holding him back? I don't think so. Is he holding you back? Yes. What, how do I hold you back? I don't do much things about cooking. Saki, I, I, no one's pushing for standards. You're just going through the motions like a dead man walking. Where's the passion? Say something, man. Saki, Saki. Tonight, I want to see how this place functions, OK? You guys, uh, yeah, set up. I'll see you shortly, yes? Damn. While the lunch was horrific, the meeting with Chef Victor and Saki was even scarier. And so Chef Ramsay is hoping to get more clarity on the workings of the restaurant tonight at dinner service. Hello, Hi. Chef. Let's have a little catch up with you. Uh, Toes off. Yes, OK. Yeah. But just minutes before the doors open, Gordon squeezes in a meeting with Jennifer's daughter to get a better insight on the fragile situation here at Spin a Yarn. So, Michaela, how old are you? I'm 14 years old. How many nights a week do you work in the restaurant? I try to help as much as I can. If I need to be here, I'll be here. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of all the sort of arguing and oh, the fighting? Oh, yeah. When they're here and they have fights, I try to say, hey, guys, let's do this somewhere else. Well, you intervene in terms of being a referee? Well, sometimes I have to act like the adult. Crazy. They will go five or four days without talking. And it scares me that my parents are on the verge of divorce. And you're caught in the middle. It's kind of like living almost like in a nightmare that you really just can't get out of. We're at rock bottom right now. And it's just, it's a scary situation. OK, I'm here to help. So, well, I'm going to watch and be in the kitchen. You need me. Come and get me. OK. OK, okay thank you. Thank you, my darling. OK. We're not really a family anymore. <sighs> so I pray and hope hope that Chef Ramsay can bring my family back together. How are you today? You guys can come right this way, please. Have a good meal, you guys. A glass of wine with the straw, please. Um. So who expedites? Nobody expedites. I keep an eye on the, on the station. Keep an eye on the guys. I run back and forth. What does Victor do? Victor is stays in the back. Victor's washing dishes? Yeah, I guess so. He's your head chef. Yes. You have no sous chef. What can I say? I don't have no help. We'd be so short hands, so we can do so much. Saki, you know, we need to spend the money. Oh. While the head chef washes dishes and the owner watches from the sidelines, entrees are making their way out to hungry diners. Bon appetito. Thank you. Thank you. But they're not exactly receiving a warm welcome from the customers. I cook better than this. Yeah. Would you like me to take it back and get you another cut? Yeah. OK, sure, definitely. <laughs> so he wanted medium rare, but this is too red for him. It's like really greasy. What's wrong, Michaela? Um, so What's wrong? This lady sent this back because the oil is like a soup. She's right. Oily and passes over coat. It's chaos right now. And the blame isn't even all on the chefs. Oh, no. Oh, you want it well done. It's on my stepfather, too, because he's not doing the job that he needs to be doing. Oh, no. What's wrong with that? This one's cold. Oh, for fuck's sake, okay. come on. Honestly, guys, how much food is coming back? Doesn't it bother you a little bit? I don't know what to say. I'm so tired. I don't know that. Meanwhile, the head chef is washing dishes. I don't know how I got myself into this or how we ended up here, but I blame Saki.
Jen, does anyone care around here? Prime rib coming back, cold in the middle, white, anemic fat. I thought we were known for our prime rib. What do you need? I don't need anything. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. You guys go inside the dining room before you get pissed off. Our lack of communication, it's the death of us. What's that smell? You smell them? It's, uh, you smell them? Well, yesterday. But they're not even cold. Well, uh, they're in the cooler. <laughs> in the cooler? Yeah. Fucking hell, what's in here? Raw meat, cooked meat. Oh, dear. When were they cooked? Oh, God. What's that? Chicken or turkey? Whatever it is, it's pink and lethal. Cooked raw chicken. No date. And that's next to a fucking bowl of strawberries with mold in there. Oh, scummy fucks. You, you, and you, come with me. Stay there. Look, look at this. Explain that. I don't, me. I can't. I'm you, humiliated oh, right now. Oh, you can't. Why didn't you check this, dude? I mean, honestly. Hold on, it gets worse. Hold on. I thought you cleaned the refrigerator. What in the fuck is that? It looks like the padding for my bra. No, that's uh, chicken. It's raw, it's pink. Just, just smell that for me. Just smell it. Please, God, for the love of God, can you open your eyes? Good. Hold on. That's the cooked meat. Look at this. Here's the raw meat. But it gets worse than that. Just have a look. I'm going to throw up. Congealed blood here. Mm -mm, yeah. mm -mm. All in there. Huh? Just all sat in there. Just all sat. Huh? Just all sat in there. Jen! <sighs> Jen! Look at that. I mean, honestly. <laughs> Jen! <laughs> Where's Jen? <coughs> Jennifer? <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> After discovering that Spinny Yarn's walk-in has spun out of control... Jill Blood here. <coughs> Gordon's inspection has Jennifer on the run. Jen! Jen! <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> Where's Jen gone? I'm right here. You're responsible for 50% of this. We're talking about losing money, staring at it. You have to take responsibility. I can't believe what this guy is guys treat the food. How the guys treat the food, but you've got to be checking, Stenosaki. Come on. I hope you have a plan, because I don't know where to start. Uh, right now, I've got a plan. Get the fuck out of here. Unbelievable. You can point the blame, but there's no excuse for what happened tonight. In the end, for me, it falls back on Saki. He's the boss. His name is on everything. Jennifer, I bring the produce. I expect him to take care of it. OK, well, you knew Chef was coming to our fucking refrigerator. And no one fucking looked in there? Seriously? Well, the way they store it, they're fucking them up. Just stop. No one's ever going to want to fucking come back here. <laughs> Can I just have a word with you both, please? Yes, sir. I'm disgusted. I mean, what can I say? I mean, just, I, I mean, I didn't expect to be this bad. Oh, guys. I don't know what to say, Saki. I'm, I, I, if I'd seen that before service, I wouldn't have let you cook anything tonight. Are you going to help us? Where do I start <laughs> I when don't everyone's know. given up? No, I'm not giving up, chef. I have a lot to lose over here. Jen. If you're going to be involved, then get involved. If there's going to be a successful business with a successful marriage, you've got to be united. I try. Try harder. OK. I will. I'll be a bitch if I have to. Get back in there and get that place clean. Make them respect what you've bought. Right now, let's do it. Well, that's... Nobody goes home. Unbelievable. The last video is the last side of the kitchen, but I need to start fresh. I need to spend more time inside the kitchen. 
whatever happened, happened. Now, we got to start it the right way, Victor. No excuses anymore. Let's get this thing going. Let's start fresh. All right. You know, I shouldn't blame Victor. I shouldn't blame anybody. But the bottom line is me. It's clear to Gordon that spinner yarn is destroying a marriage. Jen, how are you? Hi. Where's Saki? But ironically, this restaurant cannot be saved unless the couple is united. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Kitchen nice and clean. We'll do our best. Really. I find it hard to gauge your best because I haven't seen it so far. There are some big issues here. Clearly, not just in the kitchen, but I think there's issues between both of you. There's no communication between you two. I'm gonna call as I see it. I just feel like I've had it though, because he's not gonna change. I have no authority. You don't let me make a decision. It's just as fucked, dude. It's so fucked up. You're gonna have to start manning up and understanding that you're destroying not just yourself, but your family at the same time. You're gonna have to change, buddy. You're gonna have to change rapidly. I would love nothing more than to have my wife next to me over here and work together. So why hasn't that happened? Because it's not ignorance, is it? No, I think I need to change. It's not good to have things in life and have nobody around with you to share with. I'm gonna change myself. I'm gonna change me, okay? You have all my support. Okay? I want you next to my side, okay? Just love you, okay? I love you too. Uh -huh. Now that Saki and Jennifer have committed to being a team, Chef Ramsay has made some changes for tonight's dinner service. Okay, first of all, tonight this business is going to be run by the owners. How weird is that? You. Saki, I'm going to fall back in love with your kitchen tonight because you're expediting. OK. And tonight, we're going to do the most amazing prime rib, and we will carve table side. Tonight, this cart is going to be handled by... Jen. No. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you. I this is your restaurant. Cut me. Yeah? No way. Trust me. Uh-uh. Oh, I'm going to puke. What if I puke and on yeah. the table? You will Seriously. not be puking on the tables. Forget that. Think of your business. You've been ignoring this business, but you want to be involved. There's only one way to get involved, and that's jumping at the deep end. OK. I've got every confidence that you can do it. I'm feeling very nervous right now. I don't even know how to cut prime rib. Oh, I can't do this. Come in. Come in. Come in. Look at this. That is gnarly. Look how easy it is. <sighs> Look. Hold the knife. No, no, no. Look it. I watch too much CSI. I can't do this. Open your eyes when you can. Oh, God. Oh, oh come on. Oh, well, let go of it. Beautiful. Oh. Grab it. Grab it. That would like you. Okay, now. Stop it. OK. Oh, my God. Please let me do this. And please don't let me gag. <sighs> For tonight's dinner service. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Chef Ramsay has added a table side prime rib. Two specials this evening. We got table side uh, prime rib. He wants to not only create excitement in what has been a morbid dining room, but he hopes to take some of the pressure off the kitchen. Okay, come on, guys, let's go. However, this plan relies on Jennifer overcoming her fears. Okay, Jen, big deep breath. Let's go. You all right? You look a bit nervous. Do you want to swap places with Michaela and I'll get her to slice it? No. No. Come on. Get it going. Jen. What? <laughs> Don't worry. It's OK. Fuck you. <laughs> but I love you. All right. <laughs> oh, my god. She's freaking out because she can't handle serving fatty meat. She's going to have to deal with it. Two minutes. Where am I going? What table? Really? What am I doing? Prime rib's uh, getting cold. Let's go. Oh! Let's go, Jen. As I say in Vegas, it's showtime. This is going to be an interesting night. Who's having the prime rib tonight? You guys? Okay. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. Oh, cheap. I'm sorry. No, come on, Jen. I've never cut meat before a chef. No, stop that. That's, forget that now. That's gone. Okay. We start again. We serve them at our best. Nothing but our best. 
he thinks I was being stupid, but I really didn't know how to cut the meat or how to handle it or what the rules were. The lights are on, but there's no one at fucking home. Oh! <sighs> we have another bite, babe? I hate meat. Tell it's <laughs> Oh, there you go. Can we get the door? Every table, own it. And smile, Jen. Oh, my God. I used to like him. I don't anymore. How is everything so far tonight, guys? Good. Good? All right. Good to hear it. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Nicely. Not like you're about to stab Saki. There you go. Come on, Jen. Oh, I just want to hide. That's Jennifer. Where are you going? <laughs> God bless America. Wow. I did a cartwheel. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Jen, turn around. Don't walk backwards into a door. Oh, fuck me. Okay. <gasps> Jen, what are you served out there? I can't let you do that. Control it. <laughs> Me, no, don't get all fucking into with me. My name's Gordon, not fucking Saki. I'm not yelling at you. Okay, sure. Okay? I'm trying not They deserve the best. Victor, if you can't give them the best, then don't do it. We're getting worked up over nothing. This is how you work, and this is how you learn. And if you don't want to learn, there's no point in you doing this. Hey. Saki, how long on that prime rib? Five more minutes, honey. Thank you. I'm not going to fail, and I'm not going to cry. Brilliant, here we go. I am definitely on board. I want to do whatever it takes. I took a one second time out, I sucked it up, got my head back in the game, went back out there. Are you guys ready? I think so. <laughs> Would you like the horseradish on the side or on the meat? Do you have a preference? On the side is just fine. On the side, you got it. Okay, so there you go. Enjoy. Good, well done. Good job. Thank you. I learned a lot tonight. I learned how to cut meat. You did good. So did you. Uh, all right. All right. Now that Saki and Jennifer have proved they are committed to this restaurant... Come through, please. Chef Ramsay has given them a new and more focused identity. Spin a yarn, steak house. Oh, my Don't God. Don't take a menu and pass them along, please. Thank you. Oh, my God. No way. OK. When I first arrived, just under 200 dishes. Insane. This menu is in accordance to what you've got to work with. Easy, effective and glamorous. And playing to your strengths. Let's start off down the end. You've got a delicious sweet corn chowder. Next to that, the carpaccio. Served with onions, parmesan, arugula, and an aged balsamic vinegar. That's tight. Come to the focal point of the most amazing steakhouse. Start off with a grilled New York strip. Next to that, you've got the filet mignon. Stunning. Okay. Delicious lamb chops. We'll cook them on the rack. We won't open them up. A delicious prime rib, which was a big hit last night. Yay. The seafood, a wonderful pan-seared salmon, halibut, and scallops. Love it. And this menu is big enough for you to hit perfection. Yeah. That'd be great. Now we can finally lift off of rock bottom, and it's all because of Chef. Jen, how are you feeling? I'm so happy. Excellent. Now, dig in, have a taste. Yeah? This is good, guys. Oh, my god. Mm. Try that. People are going to die to come back to eat this food. I think my customers are going to rave about it to everybody. Have you seen the new menu at Spinny It's good. <laughs> Man, you not wait too often to dinner, and uh, see the reactions of the people that will be walking in. <laughs> I think they're going to be shocked. It's only minutes before relaunch night, and Chef Ramsay has an important announcement to make. And listen, I've just been told you've got half of the San Jose Sharks in for dinner tonight. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. my god. That's right. They're coming. When you see big names like that in their local restaurant, it spreads rapidly. That's the place to be in. Look after them, yeah? Have fun and sell, yes? We got to push the specials, especially the prime meal. I want my wife to work tonight. Make sure she cuts a lot of prime meal. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, if they Let's all are prime meal, shit my pants. It's relaunch night at Spin a Yarn. Hi, guys. Welcome to Spin a Yarn. And with the restaurant packed. I think I'm going to have the prime rib. I'll have the prime rib. Also. Thank you. And for you? I'll have the uh, prime rib. The customers are finding one particular menu item irresistible. I want the prime rib. 
Let's go, Victor. Let's go. We move the plate. Let's do it. Table 12. Table 42 is coming. And the crab cakes and the calamari on the order. He's coming, yeah. OK. Excellent. Now we're moving. Saki, we've been together so long, and I, hey, see Saki like this. It's made you motivated to do a better job right there behind the line. Come on, let's move it. With Saki expediting and supporting his head chef, the first appetizers are making their way out to the dining room. Wow. There you go. Enjoy, you guys. And this is the American to try And the dishes are a hit. So are you going to share that? <laughs> Oh, here she is. Stand by. Here's the dolly with the trolley. OK, <laughs> cart's arriving. Look at that prime rib, everybody, wow. to die for. Who's having the prime rib? I'll have it, medium. OK? Excellent. Hold on tight to that knife before we slice somebody's ear off. It's like huge pieces. Enjoy. Thanks. You bet. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Uh, the size of a door. A little bit thinner next time. We're here to make money, not lose it. Are you the lucky one? Jesus Christ. I'm going to give you a great piece of the meat. Wow. Today's your lucky day. Prime rib yes. for four. Oh. Jen, you don't have to give away half the fucking prime rib. With Jennifer continuing to carve big portions. <laughs> you guys are nice and big. Yes. And the San Jose Sharks arriving, the prime rib is running dangerously low. Did you see the sharks? There's a lot. <sighs> sorry, sorry. The sharks are swimming closer. Let's go. Hello, sharks. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It took me a long time to come over and build up the courage to come over here and ask you, please don't order the prime rib. But I'm totally joking. <laughs> Okay. I need that ticket in here. It's a big one. Like burger? Yeah. I'm You have the order? All prime ribs. Easy. So how many's left? Holy this. Oh, for fuck's sake. You are kidding me. I messed up. Ah. That's all. It's a big ticket. Oh, boy. See, they're all having prime rib. If you run out now, I'm going to flip my lid. It's relaunch night at Spin a Yarn. And with Jennifer carving massive portions, the kitchen is running out of prime rib. So how many's left? All of this? Oh, for fuck's sake. And with the dining room full of hungry sharks, the kitchen is at a complete standstill. If you run out now, I'm going to flip my lid. Victor. Yes. You have enough for 12, right? Uh, oh, my god. Oh, uh, boy. Give me a prime rib. You have a prime rib right there? Uh, oh, come on. I got one more. He had one up his sleeve. Victor, well done. I cook another one on my own, so we're in an emergency. God bless America. Beautiful, look at that. OK, let's go. Here we go. Sharks now, yes? Work in harmony. Are you coming behind me with 12? I'm coming right behind you. With head chef Victor coming through to save the day, Jennifer and Saki now work as a team to serve the San Jose Sharks. Is that too rare? OK. Exquisite. Holy moly. <laughs> that was hard. You did a great job. <laughs> Jennifer had a lot of confidence tonight. She didn't give up, that's for sure, even though we had all these orders of prime meat. She got a little nervous, but came out to be good. How was your meal, guys? Oh, Thanks for coming. I hope yeah. you enjoyed it, huh? Yeah. Hope it was big enough. Yeah, was <laughs> this is for you. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You're the best. Thank Can you. we take a picture? Sweet. That's Thank nice. You. Thank you. Yes, that's Good to have you guys see again. That's my man. <laughs> I'm really proud of Saki. To have a successful restaurant feels surreal. It's so great to have the support of the community, and it feels good to be back on top. Real nice having you guys. Good luck. Have a great season, huh? It's been a crazy week, let me tell you. The difference from the start of the week to the end of the week has been night and day. The most important thing is the three of you, like that, one little unit, all actively involved in the business, hands on. Jen, it felt tonight that you were handling that trolley for the last five years. Thank you. I feel like I finally have a role in this restaurant, and I never thought it would be the queen of cutting. <laughs> well done. Thank you. And Jen. you, honestly, you've got one bright future, let me tell you. Thank you. Saki. Yes, sir. To see you falling back in love with your business is exemplary. You must not stop. You made us proud for our place. <sighs> Chef Reggie gave me new confidence to keep going again. I was kind of burned out with financially and everything, but now I think the future looks good. Well done. All right. Thank you. Well done. Look after your family. Thank you very much. Stay together. You got it. Yes. Thank you. you. Thank you, Chef. I'm telling you. 14. Wow. I'm so grateful for Chef Ramsay. He saved our lives. He changed our lives. 
and you keep pushing that trolley <laughs> and stop being so nervous with it. Okay. I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to turn things around and start a new future for my family. Good job. <laughs> Great job. Good night. Have a nice trip. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. And he's off like a ship in the night. <sighs> wow. Let me spin a yarn for you. Tonight, Jen proved that she's not a trophy wife. And she has gone from a spectator to a force with a trolley. But tonight, she's not the only one, because it's all about a team effort. And that's exactly what this restaurant needs to succeed. Teamwork. Wow. 80 grand on a bathroom. Holy crap. In the weeks that followed, the new menu featuring the amazing prime rib. OK, who are the lucky recipients? Continue to attract new customers from the Bay Area. We're falling behind, OK? OK, you know what, Saki? And while Jennifer and Saki's relationship still has its quirks. Kiss my ass. <laughs> they're both actually enjoying working together to make Spin a Yarn the place to be once again. I love working with Saki and um, communicating. And it feels good to do things right. It feels great. <laughs>